This is Sebastian Middle Martinez, MMA Net, here with Sweden's own Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson, who's here as a guest fighter at AK Fighting Championship. So, Alex, you've met a bunch of fans. We all love you here. As usual, you're a national hero here in Sweden. Thank you. What's it been like to reconnect with some of the fans? Good. Always great to, to be around the fans and, and yeah, just be around the, the whole thing, the whole, the whole event and, uh, and everything. After your uh, retirement earlier this year, you mentioned that the messages from the fans and from other fighters and from media, that it really like, it left you with a good feeling. Yeah. What has been some of the best and most motivating messages that you've received since then? No, I would say most of it is from all the fans that comes up and, and support. In, in good times and bad times, fans that stick by your side no matter what. And that's, that's the most thing that motivates me the most. And You've always been motivated by greatness, of course. You wanted to reach the top, and you had so many fights where you were so close but didn't quite get there. Uh, and that obviously, I guess, played a little bit of a part in your retirement. But we were in New York. We spoke to Dana White, and he said that you've been in talks for perhaps coming back to the UFC. Well, what can you comment about that? Because Dana said flat out that he's been talking to you about it. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's say the future is is unwritten yet. Let's see what happens. And, and uh, yeah, you know. It feels good. It feels good to be back in training and let's see what happens. All right, but you do want to come back? Well, my fingers are itching. My hands are itching a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. see what happens. It sounds like a yes. I see that you got a little bit, some stitches going on. What happened there? No, I just I walked into a door and that, that's it. You're a fighter and you got stitches by walking into a door. Yeah, if, I'm, if I remember correct. So. Okay. It was, a, it was a big, big ass door. Okay, also sounds like a cover up. Now, uh, if you were to come back, people have been wondering, heavyweight, light heavyweight, you know, I know you, you, know, you want to keep a little bit vague, but you know, what, what weight, weight class would interest you the most? Uh, well, if that day comes, uh, it would be light heavyweight, of course, I got still stuff to do there and I have to, you know, let, let's see, let's see what, what, what's happening, but uh, not heavyweight. My thoughts are not on the heavyweight, it's, it's more like the light heavyweight. If that they come, you know. And you were such a staple of a light heavyweight division, which has changed a lot since your days. You know, we got Johnny Walker recently got knocked out, Corey Anderson coming up, we got Alexander Rakic, Dominic Reyes. Which light heavyweight has impressed you the most recently? Well, they are really tough guys, talented guys, and they're very hungry. I'll say Corey Anderson, I think he's just going through stick and stone and uh, as we all know, he beat my my teammate Ilya Latif, and Ilya is a badass dude. And and now he just, you know, he, like you say, knocked out Johnny Walker. So now he's in, he's impressed me a lot, actually, a, very, very a lot. And because people always, it seems like they always doubt him. I doubt him too. You know, I did doubt him before. I was one of those guys. So so now I, you know, he he's been he's he's been showing the. That he, he's, he's a true fighter and he's always so, he's, he's a nice guy and a humble guy, so no, he impressed me a lot. And right now, if you look at the light heavyweight division, who do you think has the biggest chance at defeating John Jones? Uh, it's a tough question. I don't Some know. Some people are saying Dominic Reyes, but you know, what's your opinion? Well, I don't know. It is a tough question. I need to see something spectacular. Okay, fair enough. You touched on Ilir Latifi, yeah. your longtime friend and training partner, moving up to heavyweight now. What do you think about his chances at heavyweight? Because he's not exactly a super tall guy. No, but he's a super thick guy. He's, <laughs> he is a super strong guy. He's almost like unhuman strong. So, no, I, I, I believe that he's, he's, he has a bright future in the heavyweight division. I think he's, he's done cutting all that weight and, you know, he can just be be what it is, you know, and, 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 what, what, and do what he likes to do, you know, throw heavy weights and, and, and be a strong dude. So I think he's going to do very well in this, in this heavyweight uh, division. And I can't wait to see, wait to see the next fight. And yeah. All right. And just two more for me here. Then uh, you, uh, you've mentioned before Luke Rockhold, that that's been a fight that's interested you. He moved up to light heavyweight, but it did not go his way. If everything comes together and, you know, the fans get what they want, which is a return, is that a fight that you still want? No, the old Luke Rockhold thing is just, uh, I think it, it, it blowed away a little bit. I think, uh, you know, it's, he's a tough guy and he, he, he's a former champ in the middleweight division and 
right? Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's a tough guy for sure, but, you know, whoever they put in front of me, if I come back one day, whoever they put in front of me, I would just do my thing and, and be ready for it. All right, and last one for me then. What's your message from the fans who have been with you from day one through your retirement, all of the title fights, and to this point watching this interview right now? I love you all. Love you guys. All right, there you have it. Gustafsson, as always, loves his fans, and they love you back. And we hope that we'll see you back in the Octagon sooner rather than later. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Thank you so much. Thank you.